to ask you asked a question about what was the question that he asked? Why why shouldn't he why shouldn't he be a mix? Right? Was that the question? No, I mean I, I didn't ask that question. I think um You said why shouldn't I be Yeah. Why shouldn't you be a mix? Which is a which is a good question because if you don't know anything else, you're gonna follow whatever appeals to you. Right. That makes sense? Well, yeah, well it's twofold. First of all, just to give you a little background now. I'm a past master of South Grand. A lot of these symptoms come out of the period that come from, come from us. So here's, here's the bottom line. Right, I got you. So, so you're making a point that, that what you found, it's the top knowledge. Yes. So, and you, you, you stand on the grandstand and proclaim that. Yes? Yes. Okay. If I'm into if I'm into something that I that I consider supreme, I'm not gonna look for anything else. Yes. Well, understand my point. Understand yeah, yeah, what I'm saying. If I'm like, like, I know I'm an Israelite, right? I know my history in the Bible. Once, once that information is shown to me, I don't need to stand in front of uh, Islamic. I don't need to hear about Africanism, nothing, because I got the clean glass of water. When I don't know what the truth is, I'm going to be all over the place looking for different things. You follow me? Now, give me Deuteronomy 20. This is the reason why you're in the wrong thing. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1 first. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Listen. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses speak unto all Israel. These be the words, you listen? These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel, the Israelites. On this side, Jordan is the wilderness. In the plain over against the Red Sea, between Palestine. So you say you studied history, you know about the history that we're reading about. When Moses and the Israelites came out of Egypt. So who was Moses speaking to? The nation of Israel. He was speaking to the Israelites. Now give me Deuteronomy 28. 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice, of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the, the same Israelites, keep the Bible open. He told the Israelites, he said, listen, if you don't observe and to keep these laws that, 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 the, Mo, that the Lord told Moses to give to the children of Israel, that the Lord was going to put curses on the same nation, the nation of Israel. So that's who Moses is talking to. The nation of Israel, the Israelites. So, you study history. Yes, sir. So, you know, what time was Moses living in? Before um, BC. Okay, we, 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 I can roll with that. So he's not in today's time, is he? He's not, he's not around during the 1600s, is he? Yes, sir. Now, give me, give me 68. Good run, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So this, this is another one of the curses that Moses told the nation of Israel. He said that if you don't keep these commandments, the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again. Why is he using the word Egypt again? Because we just came out of ancient Egypt. So he said he was going to go back into that captivity. He was going to go back into bondage. That's what the word Egypt means itself. The word Egypt itself means bondage. You understand that? Let's get it for the book. Exodus 20 and 2. verse and then I gotta get out. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. That was written in the book of Exodus. That book of Exodus is before Deuteronomy. During the time of Exodus, that's when the Most High had Moses and Aaron to bring the Israelites out of the bondage of right. the Pharaoh. Right. So now that we're in the in the book of Deuteronomy, which is further up in the history, because of our disobedience, Moses said that the Lord was going to bring you back into captivity. Read it again now, Deuteronomy. And the Lord shall bring now, thee. Now we back to the part where Moses is speaking. And the Lord shall bring thee shall bring thee into Egypt again. Read. So the Lord shall bring the Israelites back into bondage, but they're going to get into bondage with ships. Hmm. Who that happened to? Thank you. That's your nationality. You're the Israelites. That's what the Bible's talking about. Read it again. 
And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with shots. Free. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The, all the curses that happened to us, Moses was bringing it out. It talks about the yokes of iron that was on our necks. It's written in this chapter. It talks about how our women were going to be, how our children were going to be taken away from us and we were going to be sold in slavery. This is not a fairy tale that we're talking about. This is real history. Our people have been taught lies. They have not learned the Bible yet. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How do we get to slavery on ships? When who wrote this? Moses. What time was Moses in the BC period? How the hell would Moses be so accurate to describe what was going to happen to us? Because it was not Moses' writings, it was God's writings. Read. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Our people don't know that Israel is their homeland. They run around talking about their Egyptians. They run around talking about their Masons. All of that because we have been destroyed in our minds. We don't, our history, our true history has been cut off from us. Mm. Right. Read. Mm. And then ye shall be sold. And when you get to this new Egypt, come on. Yeah, ye shall be sold unto your enemies for burnt men and burnt women. That's recorded in all the Bible. And ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Why? Because we are the Israelites and we broke God's laws. That's the reason why this happened to us. So going back to the question, where should you be? You need to find out who you are, learn it, and repent. And come back to the Most High. Because everything else is going to get put to death. That's what the Bible's talking about. That ain't got nothing to do with how I feel. That's what God said. You understand? Appreciate your time. All right. Before you go, bro, one more. Two more scriptures. Give me some. Do you know what I mean? 20 and 40. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. So one of the curses will come upon our people. We, we, we should gonna serve our enemies when they conquer us. We don't. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Because God sent them. He's the creator of the earth. Send them against us as a punishment. Read. In hunger. In, when you need food, you gotta get it from them. Read. And in thirst. When you need water, juice, everything, you gotta get it from your enemies. We don't create none of these resources. Neither none of these, we don't manufacture this. Read on. And in nakedness. Neither clothing. Read. And in want of all things. In want of all things. When you need to learn any, when you need an education, when you need what you call knowledge, you go to your enemies to learn that. That's how you learn about all this mason and all of that. Read on. And you shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And read. Upon, read. upon thy neck. Until he has destroyed yeah. thee. You, you are, we are destroyed. That's the reason why we become okay. some school we are destroyed. That's the reason why we go. We don't have no knowledge. We don't know who we are. We don't know what we're supposed to do. We don't know the solutions to better our communities. That's why we learn all these different doctrines, all these lies and philosophies from our enemies. Right. Right? So give me read that scripture. Colossians 2 verse 8. Read. Beware, lest any man spoil you. But God tell you, when it's time for you to learn, God tell you, read that. Beware! To beware! Take heed! Beware! What does it mean to be beware? What does beware mean? To be observant. Yes. Alright. Okay, one. Okay, read. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. Destroy your mind. Read. Through philosophy. Through philosophies. What does it mean? Philosophy. Oh, different. Um... Give me an example of a philosophy. This is an example that this is Christ and Christianity and God love the world. All of this is philosophy and the enemies taught you that. White supremacy. Yo, that them markets you got in your heart. Right. Thank you. All of that right. is philosophy. Right. So that's the point where I'm trying to show you, brother. All these things that they're, they're teaching you is no good for you. Read on. You philosophy and vain deceit. Vain deceits. They are all lies. Whatever knowledge they do, I don't know about the Mason stuff. But God said all of it is lies. You understand that? Beware, lest any man spoil. Who spoil our people with all these lies? Who spoil our people? Because our people are spoiled. 
They are destroyed in their minds. They don't have no love for their own brother. They don't know that Christ is a black man. Yes, yes. You understand that? They hate their own brother. They hate their own people. And because of this, that the, 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 the enemies, the white man push, and all of that, guess what? They keep destroying our people. Because we're looking for hope through pain. We're looking for some betterment through the light. Give me a... Um, me, um, I gotta go, bro. All right. But I but appreciate something you. Something you gotta do. You gotta repent. I got a plug. So right. check it out. Check out. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you. You celebrate Christmas? Yeah. All of that is against the law. That's philosophies and being the seats. Don't read the information. Read the information on the flyer. Call and come and learn because that's what you have to do. And be a leader amongst the people. And you gotta get your knowledge from the Bible. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.